Hey guys, this is uh, Eric and we're doing another video on WordPress backend administration. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to create ad widgets in your sidebar. So first, let's make sure we're in the dashboard. All right, in the dashboard. So then we're going to go down to appearance. And then from appearance, we're going to hover on top of that and we'll click on the third item down widgets and that will bring us into the widgets panel all right now what once we're into the widgets panel we'll see our sidebar panel right here here's all our stuff our search custom html recent posts recent comments if we go back to um, the website we'll see all that stuff right here's the search this is the custom HTML here's a recent post recent comments here's another custom HTML categories so you'll see that all listed here now what we want to do is under advertisers we want to put our first ad banner so we'll go over to the available widgets section and we'll click on add image banner add okay so once we do that we can either click add widget and see it already has sidebar selected and it will add it over here we can do it that way I'm gonna delete it to remove it or we can click and drag it to where we want it either way is fine um, but with the newer version of WordPress that we're working with this makes it so much easier because you may have seen in the other video I showed you how to uh, put a widget in inactive and how you have to scroll all the way down well with the new WordPress making it so that all you have to do is click on it you can just choose add widget and it'll put it in there for you without you having to drag it up up there so now that we've gone off on that tangent just slightly I'll tell you how this this works so the add image banner add that works uh, with a plugin. So we'll go to plugins real quick and I'll show you which one it applies to. Okay, so in plugins, it's this one down here WordPress Add Widget. And we're using version 2.16. And I showed you how to install that in a previous video. I'll go ahead and link that below so you can check that out watch that if you haven't that tells you a lot about how to work with widgets this video is just specifically about working with the WordPress add widget widget okay so let's go back to our widget section in appearance so here's our first uh, under advertisers right here this section right here image banner add that's what we're gonna do so the first block the first field says image URL so we want to uh, grab an image URL so I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick so first I already had that open we'll go ahead and close that out close that out uh, what we'll do is in the dashboard menu on the left we'll go down to media we'll hover on that and then we'll click uh, sorry we'll right click library and do open in new tab that way we don't lose where we're at and so we can have both of them open at the same time so this will let us see what our images are let's say I want to use this spiritual alchemy image if I click on it it'll bring me in here and I'm looking for where it says URL now if you're watching a future version you're watching this in the future it's you know summer of 2018 right now if you're watching this in the future sometime and you're using a different version of WordPress 
It could be along the bottom here somewhere. It could be over here. Who knows? But chances are it's going to say URL. So you click in there and do Control A to select, then do Control C to copy, and that copies it temporarily into your um, uh, what do they call it? Clipboard into your clipboard, and so then we'll take that URL, which is also called a link or a hyperlink. We'll go back over to our widget section, and right where it says image URL, we'll control V to paste that in. Of course, if you're on a Mac, whenever I say control, just replace that with command button. Alrighty. The next thing we're looking for is the add click destination. So when a user or a customer or a viewer or what have you clicks on the image in the sidebar, where do you want it to take them to? Well, in this case, uh, this is an image for a book on Amazon. So I have the link over here to the Amazon book, and I'll just go ahead and Control-C to copy it again. I'll highlight that and then Control-V to paste it. Notice I'm not doing a save or anything just yet. And the advertiser name. This is going to work similar to um, when you hover over an image and it gives you a name or a title is what it's called, the image title property. Um, this also could be used similar to the alt image property. Uh, and that's how I'm using it. So I've gone ahead and... I've got a description, and my description says what it is. So if the image didn't show up, this should be what shows up instead. So Amazon.com, Fundamentals of Spiritual Alchemy CD. That kind of tells you what it is. All right. So you don't need to worry about this widget, widget logic box uh, or any of these other boxes just yet. We'll do Save. And you'll notice if you've got a good uh, link to an image... As soon as you click Save, the image will show up right here. So then we'll go back to our web page and refresh it, F5 to refresh. And bada bing, bada boom, we've got our first ad. Now, if we only have one ad, it's going to be right there because this section, uh, actually, I've got it set up with custom CSS style configuration. And the way I've got it set for this theme is so that it'll do two ads side by side. So four looks real good here, six looks real good here. You can put as many as you want, but honestly, I probably wouldn't put any more than six. So this is what it looks like with one advertiser. Let's go ahead and do another. Um, actually, first, let's show you what happens when we click. So when I click on it, there it is. It brings me to the web page because I put in the link. Now when I hover over it, does it tell me anything? No. But if I do, uh, if I right click on the image and click inspect, it should come up with what's called the uh, developer console. And it has the alt as add. Okay. So I'm not sure what it did. Let's go see here. Not sure what it does with this advertiser name. We'll have to look into that possibly in a later video. But for our current purposes, it doesn't matter. Um, I actually think that might be used for tracking... Uh, statistics and logistics and stuff. The one thing I do want to show you is you probably want to ch check the open and new window. I'll go ahead and click save and you'll see why. So when I, I need to refresh it, so we'll right click and do reload. Right click and reload or F5 or Control Shift and R all at the same time. All three of those are different ways to do the same thing, different ways to refresh the page. Okay, so every time you make a change, you want to refresh the page so you're working with the newest version. So when I click on here, 
Now what it should do is open a new tab, and of course it does. So we'll go ahead and close that out. That all worked. All right. So now let's put a second thing in there. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do, again, I'll go back over to my media library. I'll find, let's go with this one. This is an image I made uh, just as a placeholder. So I'll do control C like I showed you before. We'll come over here. Now let me just tell you, this stuff right here for SEO is horrible right now. Uh, I may show you later how to do SEO in a different video, but that's not that's beyond the scope of what I'm demonstrating here. So, but for making it display and working, it's fine. So again, we'll control C, we'll go back to our widgets. What do we do? Okay, so let's close this one up by clicking that arrow and let's add another banner ad. We'll do add widget. There it is in categories. We want to go ahead and drag that up under our first one. Okay, so we've got the new image URL. We'll put that in there. And let me show you what happens. Let's say I put that in there and I do want to save it in case there's an outage or something. I click save. Boom. That shows you the images in there. So so you can wait till you've filled everything in or you can save after you enter each one. It's up to you. All right, so then I'll go down to the destination. And for this one, I want the destination to actually be the contact page on this website. So it's going to be feelandheal.b slash contact. And for the advertiser name, I'll just do, let's just do feel and heal con contact us. Try that. Of course, make sure. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you're going to link to something on your website, uh, you don't need to do open in a new window. For SEO purposes, it's best to not open in a new window, to just click, as long as it's a page that's on your website or a post that's on your website. If you're leaving your website, then you do want to open in a new window so that your website doesn't close and it stays open, okay? So for this one, we will not do open in a new window. We'll go ahead and save it. All right, it's saved. We'll go back to our web page. Scroll down, refresh the page, and bada bing, we've got two images side by side. Now, if I put four images in there, or four ads in there, you know, they'd, they'd be under, two more would be under here. And so each two I put in there, two more, it's going to be underneath, right? All right. And if I click on your ad, it brings us to the contact page, just like it's supposed to. All right. So I hope this has been uh, a good video um, that's given you the information you need on how to insert an image banner ad in your sidebar. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, thank you for joining us today for another tutorial on Eric Hepperly Designs. And we hope to see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day.